to give birth to a rabbit, not easy to do. Well, how would you escape the bonds of poverty? Cruelty, brutality, and anonymity to become the strangest mum in British history. Want to give birth to a rabbit? Then just listen to this totally true tale of kings and pregnancy in London's incredibly freaky mystery and a woman, the liar Mary T. You're either a wife or a muse or a whore. No one cares what came before. You cut up some limbs, make some mess and some gore, and then suddenly you're, you're so, so much more. more. How to give birth to a rabbit or better yet, why? Cause what wouldn't you try when you're stuck in the 18th century? In a city as corrupt as a city can be And you're poor and you're lonely and besides you're only 25 And when you get caught by the folks at the top Do you stop? How to give birth to a rabbit is how you stay alive that's how you thrive in the cold You've got to be bold You cannot just sit back and do what you're told You have to find some way to stick out from the fold Cause how to give birth to a rabbit is how to survive In the hide Where you're either a noble or a lord with a sword Otherwise you're just somebody's ward You work and you slave and try not to get bored And when, when you by the folks at the top Do you drop? How to give birth to a rabbit In two easy steps We hope this helps First comes love But skip the marriage Next part takes a big of courage That's the rabbit miscarriage How to give birth to a rabbit Is how to convince Every surgeon and Attention! 
It is now the 6th of November in the year of our Lord, 1726. I practiced medicine for 30 years, never seen anything as stupendous. A woman from the fields, from whom strange bounty yields, birthing rabbits, the possibilities tremendous. She called upon me a week ago, complaining of a mild distress, and a pompous look I threw out the book discovering two paws in all the mess. Will they suspect? Will they know? Will they take me seriously? Will they come? Will they probe? Will they prove this rigorously? This girl could be my ticket to get out of God on Ming. A once-in-a-lifetime ticket Great status for the country and king <laughs> Hours pass before the next contraction More violent and misunderstood she cried for god then out they clawed three hairs hopping wildly towards the wood you can't undermine the importance of a woman giving birth to beasts and what this could do for men like you, undermining the work of priests. Was that too much? Was that too crude? Am I toying with their smarts? Is this a scam? Or truth a skewed? Giving birth to rabbit pot? This girl could be my ticket to get out of God or Ming, a once in a lifetime ticket. Great that is for country and me. No, in conclusion, I beg of you, please consider my proven reputation for truth relies on selfish lies and wanting beyond my station your most humble servant Dr. John
the flesh of humanity. You can't produce these rabbits preternaturally. Surely it seems we have found another way a life could come about. Yes, it's just as true as I suspect. I've seen it with my eyes, the doctors test. See their lungs and how they float. It's obvious they breathe the life inside. So Mary, let us be. More than we've ever dreamed to be. And then we'll see. Take this show to London, we will live in our glory. Step right up, you never will believe the marvel that your eyes are soon about to see. Just a pen sent through this door, a little pence this marvel can be. Yes, Mary, now we're more than we ever dreamed before, and they'll all see. Just how great we've grown, we are living our glory. tabloids any mind they're just jealous of our fine don't pay those tabloids any
to follow three Or you're bound to see something that you'll never forget Extraordinary, no longer a mystery For I have proven with a test Look at our Mary, fretting and drolly Giving birth to furry bees If the gift you see, go just fully Pay and see it for yourself Pay and see it for yourself Pay and see it for yourself Have you heard the tale about the poor young girl from Godalming? She'd given birth to bunnies and a host of other things. Now I know what you are thinking, but before you start to fear, listen closely to the doctor and the carnival comes here. Listen closely to the doctor and the carnival comes here. Dr. Howard hasn't cowered from applying scrutiny. He's a product of the science of the 18th century. Seems the hunger in our bellies will make all decisions clear. Listen closely to the doctor and the carnival comes here. Listen closely to the doctor and the carnival comes here. The crown think it knows more than Mother Nature. You know, in this age of enlightenment, I don't feel any lighter. <laughs> she may be no Virgin Mary, she's had several kids before. Contraception not an option when illiterate and poor. So before the hunger for the next big thing has won our cheer. Listen closely to the doctor and the carnival comes here. Listen closely to the doctor and the carnival comes here. When rabbits miss the rabbit hole, but fortune still looms near. Listen closely to the doctor and the carnival comes here. Listen closely to the doctor and the carnival comes here. Listen closely to the doctor and the carnival comes here. Good evening. We begin tonight with a story out of Guildford that is both strange and odd, the likes of which we have never seen. It appears that a woman who was with a child and resides near the town of Golden, who was about a month past due to deliver, has now reportedly given birth to a rabbit. We are waiting confirmation and will keep you abreast of any developments in the story. We are now getting word that the woman in question is one Mary Toff, a local physician by the name of Dr. John Howard has confirmed that despite his own reservations, and aiding in the birth of a rabbit from Mrs. Toff. He has also mentioned that none of the rabbits thus far have survived the birth process. The news from King George is that he has sent his personal surgeon, Dr. Nathaniel St. Andre, to investigate the matter and report back. At the tale of Mrs. Toff is getting out, the reaction is not mixed, especially the impact of our radio rabbit friends, which makes it steeply tired sales. We need our friends to find the world without 
Charlotte. Oh, she's got that mistaken at last in their judgments of that affair, are healing their reputations as well as they can by writing of pamphlets. Alone in my room, 
I yearn my turn outside these walls. Walk among the gloom and doom amid the streets and market stalls. But when you're manacled by your birth, well, it's not all that life is worth. It's plain abstaining. No fun containing is draining. I'm done. Alone in my room, tabloids tell of a strange plight, a magical womb. Oh, woman, try to catch the light. But if we could change our role, even for just one day, be who we truly wanted to say, frustrating, placating, the world liberating, emancipating. My room light is dimmer, life is old, a line and mine and zimmer, nothing glimmer, nothing spoke. Parts. That's where it starts To be truthful, I was youthful and a porter And they ordered me around I didn't like where I was bound So I decided to stick out just a bit Where's the harm? Who gives a shit? No, when she slipped me a few guineas, I thought I like where this is leading, so I didn't mind the bleeding of the cats and and, and, and all, all the guineas and the rabbits. Wait, did, did I mention that I found with no intention that I sort of had a penchant for this work? I made it work. I gladly put up with the stench until the system put a wrench in. And I had to stop collecting for her ruse. It wound up killing my ascension to a station I was meant for And I really ate that wench for what she's done I'm all confused So I guess it's time to get back to my job Polish the knob So much. 
much for the fortune! And did I forget to mention that I never asked for nothing because it all amounts to nothing in the end? That's it, my friend. When they write about this henceforth, I'll just be the guy they got some pens for. God knows what. Or rabbits. What? I thought I'd have some glory, but I'm just a footnote to this story. And like the vermin I was offing, we all go out with the stuffing, and they can tell when you've been bluffing. We're just all fucked. Just I. You're either a wife, or a muse, or a whore. No one cares what came before. And now, Mary T, you're nothing more. How to give birth to a rabbit, well, now you know. And that's the show. We hope in this mess there's a lesson to learn. Be careful what you wish for. Be cautious what you yearn. Fame, Fame can, can be fleeting and money can burn. There's no use retreating where there's nowhere to turn. Cause when you give birth to a rabbit, you have to lie. You have to try to stretch the truth. Them a story that's worth paying for. It's good if it's gory, no one cares if you're sore. It's only a matter of time before you get caught by the folks at the top. So it's better to not make a habit to have to get by by giving birth to a rabbit. Might as well teach a pig to fly. Matters are the things that are true. Sooner or later, they'll find out about you. Because, because in the end, all good things break apart. You wind up right back at the start. Where everything's back to normal. Maybe that's the moral. No one's really abnormal. We all have a heart. Doctors are mortal, it's good to find out. Physicians are fallible, it's better to doubt. Reporters irresponsible, only know how to shout. And kings are the most useless people above. The, the price, price of fame. fame is it worth what you got some people know your name some do not so you played the game and you took your shot is it all just the same as if you'd stayed home to There since the days of Eve The weakest woman sometimes may The wisest man deceive Excuse me 
pardon the interruption. Excuse me, I have a confession. Too long, maybe out of habit. I kept up this silly ruse about a rabbit. Began, I knew that I deserved a better life. I was destined for much more than this simple town as a simple wife. I knew if I could make a splash, they'd finally see me as the artist, the celebrity worthy of their praise. So I started. Then cut, then fish. Until one day it struck me that the perfect subject is. I'm finally getting out. Grabbed my fool of a husband and Dr. Howard with something true. Full speed ahead to the papers. Mary's finally getting her news. It didn't take long for the royal treatment and after I got out. Stuffed my face with filet mignon. Isn't this what we dreamed about? Stuck on display, fielding questions, satisfy their curiosity. No, it didn't take long for me to realize I'm in over my head. Excuse me, I for confession. I'm sorry that my imagination resulted in judicial congregation. Do you drop? Do you shut the fuck up? Or do you?